Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Pretty badly. Yeah, sometimes we're okay. Hmm. Debatable, I suppose. Welcome <laughs> back to Skies of Arcadia. Last time we had to I rescue did. Captain Dad from the Valua, as well as Fina. And we learned about her little pet friend, Cupel. Yes, Cupel. And now we are going to be collecting uh, the first cham for Cupel. Um, so kind of like we talked about last time, uh, Cupel is a, a, a pet slash weapon combination. Um, and you feed uh, Cupel to power him up uh, throughout the course of the game. So Fina only has one weapon. And we're about to get our first upgrade material for it. Down this way, right? Yep. All right. Two. Yeah. First jam uh, near the entrance in here. So you should hear a noise. We'll hear a cute little chirp. A cute yep. chirp. Oh. What's wrong, Cupel? I'm not. I'm... Squeak. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Really? Here? I see. Nice. Cupel tells me that there's a jam around here somewhere. Cham? What's that? Chams are little shards that from moonstones that fell and shattered when they hit the ground. Pupil eats them as food. Really? Wow. Wow. I didn't wow. know anything could eat moonstones. Where can you find them? What do they look like? You can find them all over the place, but they're very small, so they're hard to see. But I'm sure Pupil will let you know whenever you get close to a cham. He can't seem to sit still or be quiet whenever the food is nearby. I know the feeling. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I see. So all you have to do is search the ground whenever Cupel starts to go a little crazy, right? Let's see if we can find anything here. The more you feed Cupel, the stronger he'll become. He'll be able to change into different shapes and inflict more damage on the enemies in battle as he grows. Yep. Uh. Hear the squeaking. Oh, on the catwalk, I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you get that little icon in the top left there. I don't want the crane. He's like, ah, the food's right here. Gotta spam the confirm button. There Pretty you go. Pretty much. I got a cham. First cham. So that can be fed. Let's take a look here. I think Cupel needs two chams to do its first evolution. But you can feed them regardless. I'm Fina. Starts at level one. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. See? Yeah, there it is. Hi, Cupel. All yeah, right. You can see nothing really happened there, but we have increased the number of champs to one. At two champs, we're going to get our first evolution. Ooh. Is there anything else we need to do here specifically? I do not believe so. I think we are good to go. Sweet. Gonna double check. Leave everything to us. Cham number one. Uh, did we capture a moonfish? I think we did, right? Yeah, at the very top, the small Outlook mm -hmm. Island or whatever. Yep. Right after Fina joins. So we're good to embark on our adventure. Embark. Yes. See who's here to see us off. People uh, with Fina and like it's its noisiness it makes me think a little bit of Hoople from Tales of Arise. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Okay, but Hoodle didn't. <laughs> That's the other owls. That's true. Yeah, Hoodle was a little more enthusiastic, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Vice? You're looking uncharacteristically grim. Dad, actually, there's something that I have to tell you. Don't worry, I have a feeling that I already know what you're going to say, because I'm dad. <laughs> I remember when I was your age, the feeling that I had to set away, get away from my own little island and see what the rest of the world. When a man decides to step out onto his own path, he doesn't need to ask for his parents' permission. From now on, you're my equal son, a man who lives by the skies. There's nothing more honorable than that. <laughs> you're late on almost every other occasion, but you sure aren't wasting any time to try and get out on your own. Dad? Go on, get out of here, Vice. Go make your mark in the world. Oh, I will. 
Actually, Dad, the reason I'm disturbed is because I watched a small animal eat part of the moon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is this world like? I hear that you've decided to leave your father's told me all about it already. I, you were Whoops. right there. <laughs> you were literally right there when we talked about this. Okay. <laughs> but I know you're well enough to figure out that it wouldn't be long before you'd yearn to travel, yearn to travel the skies by yourself. I should just give up on reading. Clearly, it is not my strong suit. Uh, you got this. <laughs> it's okay, dear. Everyone ultimately has to fly away from their parents' nest. I knew it was just a matter of when. It's funny because I write regularly. <sighs> Reading is hard. It is. <laughs> I knew this day would be coming sometime. It's just it's just that it came a lot sooner than I expected or hoped. So stand tall, son. Go chase after those dreams that you've always talked about. And make sure you take care of Ika too, okay? Hey, son, and I heard a mummer. rumor that you're leaving from you talking to your father who's standing right next to me about four seconds ago. That's irrelevant. That's true. <laughs> Don't you cloud the issue with pertinent, relevant information. <laughs> Logic. Right. Yeah, no, right? It's unwanted here. Thank you all so much for rescuing me for the Valuans. I hope that I'll be able to repay all of you someday. Just worry about keeping those moon crystals out of the hands of the Valuans. And Vice, we're all counting on you, too. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Dad. I won't let you down. Well, I guess we should get going. Before I let you down, we'll be back soon. <laughs> Bye, Captain. Bye, everyone. I amuse myself. We're on our way to let you down. Right. Nice. Aika, are you sure you want to do this? Dina, there's no way we can turn this down. Too many chances for plunder. <laughs> After what you told us about the Gigas, I don't even want to think about what the Value and Empire would do if they got their hands on them. That's true. We're the only ones that can stop them. I mean... Are you? And, well, to be completely honest, I've always wanted to sail the world, and this is my chance. Moon crystals, lost cities, strange lands, I want to see them all with my own eyes. This is my chance to find out what's really out there. Ina, you couldn't stop us from going even if you tried. This is the kind of adventure that air pirates dream of. If we pass this up, we'd regret it for the rest of our lives. We understand. Thank you all. Tina, do you have any idea where the crystals might be? Well, according to the ancient legends, there should be a moon crystal hidden in the lands under each of the moons. The closest one from here are the yellow moon of Valua and the red moon of Nasser. Well, there's no chance of getting back into Valua right now. You should probably wait a while before going back there. If you go east from here, you'll reach Nasser with a normal ship. You'd probably never make it through the stone reefs on the way. But now that little Jack is equipped with a harpoon cannon, you've got a pretty good chance of making it through. Yes. Heck yes. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. We're heading east to Nasser and we're going to get to the Red Moon Crystal. Hey. Hey, hey we've been standing around here long enough. Let's get going. Well, Dad, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Because Drachma said so. <laughs> Remember everything I've taught you. Make us proud, son. enjoy how drachma just kind of stands in the background in these scenes like saying yeah. nothing most of the time like I, I know. you know i've got my own goals here this is my <laughs> ship i know the whole thing i'm thinking the entire time is man they're being awfully presumptuous <laughs> I, yep as if the jack was their ship or something it is now clearly <laughs> all right all right North. so we've got some discoveries to get to here Mm -hmm. Um. So, east of Shrine Island, and we can stop in on Shrine Island. Um, we're gonna need to do that to grab the next Cham. But there's also Discoveries three and four, uh, and then we can check in on uh, Doc and Maria to feed Moonfish. Oh yeah, good idea. All right, so we're leveling up Blue. She needs to be put her back on purple, I think, because she's learning some spells. And Cena, and here's Cupel. Yep. Oh, we need to check our Moonberry skills for her too. Yeah, they, we should be able to learn her first skill. Let's see. 
guess I'll put him back on green for now. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, in situations like this, it's a good idea to just learn as many of the different skills as possible now that you have a full party of four. And this is right. the first time in the game we've reached the maximum party size. So yep. four is the most you can deploy in battle. Counter all. Bummer. Bummer. Go, Cupel. Yeah. Me is. You don't stand a chance, you poor looper. You're gonna cut less wrath and. Don't even need no. to. <laughs> that was easy. Ika said, Boom will win. That's right. Boom will what? Now, Fina gets several levels at once here, I think. No, there's several, but her first level up. She will level up pretty consistently here. Yeah. Jam's pretty close here, right? Or do we have to go pretty far? I don't remember. The Cham here. Gotta get to the small stairway leading to the ground floor. Really? Yeah, so we might have to walk through a bit of this, but I think, think the shrine is opened up right now. It should be, yeah. Uh... But yeah, we gotta get all the way pretty much to the ground floor here to get the Cham here. No. <laughs> a little bit of grinding time, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, it may not be too bad. Because there's a yeah. stairway that goes directly down to the ground floor from inside, it looks like. Yeah, I think the first time through here, you just had to drain a bunch of stuff, and now it should be in good shape. In theory. Theoretically. Possibly. All right. Attack! <clears throat> the Good old enough. JRPG tradition of being able to just attack with everybody in random battles. Yes. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> bonk. <laughs> it's a pretty hefty bonk there. Blang. I like her, her, her output of power is never like significant no but she, but she can hold her own it's true oh hey Wicca and Cristali looks yeah, like that was good yeah so uh, technically speaking if you fully upgrade Cupel it actually has the highest attack power uh, in the entire game of any weapon oh hey I gotta go down further yeah we're near it it's, it's like a floor down but yeah um, that does not, however, mean that Fina is the most effective physical attacker. Um, there are other things to take into account with that, but uh, by the end of the game, she's fully capable of using physical attacks like everybody else. Um, though she sort of breaks the mode a little bit of the all I can do is cast or bop for one damage with a right, you know, pain or whatever caster weapon. Yeah, I mean, it's rare that you'll attack with Cupel, though. Yep. Only in, like, random encounters, you know. Right. But there is... There does come a point uh, in this game where it is actually going to be faster to S-move your way through random encounters. Yeah. Uh, just because you can just plow through it very, very easily. Yeah, when there was when there's like three, I don't worry about it too much because they're gonna take all a turn anyway, just about. But mm -hmm. yeah, Alpha Storm I think is the only move we have right now that can multi-hit as far as S moves go. Oh yeah, we should check if we want to learn Venus. Yeah, I, I just thought about that as we hit another battle. Yeah. so dainty <laughs> yes yeah. any bonking noise uh, cracks up Austin here okay but nothing matches the thud the, just the <laughs> head cracking thud of Aang smashing into that stone face yep beginning of every episode smack 
can't help it. Just letting the viewers know he laughs every time. <laughs> I, I do. But to be fair, it is funny every time. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right, so we've got uh, Fina's first S move called Lunar Blessing. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, regen on everyone. So everyone will recover. I'm not sure what the percentage is, but a certain small percentage of right. uh, HP every round. It's like auto. Well, it's not auto, but it's like regen uh, to put it in Final Fantasy terms. Right. Okay. So up here, I guess. Uh, it says it's the stairs that go down to the ground. Unless this goes back around. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do that. There's because there are yeah. actually stairs to the, to the ground floor. Yeah, to be a little self-deprecating here, I have a very, very bad sense of direction. Um, only really way, uh, the only real way I know where I'm going in a game is a lot of practice. For the most part, it's where am I going? What's happening? Hello. Oh, okay. Now nah, go back in there. I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm confused. Go to the southeast corner of this floor. South. That's west. Southeast. Yeah. I thought you said west. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Oh. Did you hear that? No. But oh. I can want to. Yeah, check, check up here. Maybe this is what is intended. Here we go. Yep, there we is. All right. All right. So now we can upgrade Fina's weapon after this battle. Rude. <laughs> so rude. Good, okay. Good. There's a lot of these dudes here. That looks like an alpha storm to me. <laughs> yeah, for real. Back. Yeah, so we have a bit of a um, a decision here with regards to what we want to do with our next Spoonberries. Um, we've got Drachma in a good spot. Uh, Ika has Delta Shield. Yeah. And Pina has um, uh, shoot, Lunar, her first one. <laughs> yes, Lunar Blessing. <laughs> lunar Blessing, yeah, that's right. Uh, so perhaps vice next on super move learning yeah i don't uh what's her second what's what is fina's second uh skill yeah let me check on that because if i remember correctly her second one's worth having too all right second one is lunar glyph so that damages one enemy and can inflict the stone status. Oh, okay. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, we'll work on vices next. Yeah. She does get cleansing after that, but that's more moon berries. That one's two. So we need a total of three to get to lunar cleansing, which is right. well worth it. Um, and then lunar wins. So Fina has most of her super moves, special moves, are mainly there for utility or healing. Um, she's a true support character. Um, she also has a very high magic stat, so she'll do a lot of damage uh, if you want to cast magic. Um, I do think Vice is going to be the next uh, best one. Uh, we'll need two moon berries for his next move, but we'll get our first hit all uh, super move. Yeah. All right, so our poor viewers don't have to watch me backtrack through all this. Uh, how about we pause here? Yep. And then pick back up once I get out of Shrine Island. Be right back. And we're back. With we more goodness. Uh, I did forget to give her the cham earlier, so uh, it's... What is it under? Equipment, maybe? Equipment, yeah. Yeah, so now you can see Cupel is a blade. Yep, that's uh, about nine more attack power. I think a little more hit as well. And the animation will change. So it'll still look like Cupel, but it will do different things. Yes. 
Okay, so you said we need to go back to Doc. Is that correct? Yes, but we can go ahead and grab Discoveries 3 and 4 as well. Okay. Um, so if you if you go by where Doc is while we're doing it, then feel free to pop in. Um, let's see. Stone Reef east of Shrine Island is what we want. Okay, right here. Yep. And there's a small green island to the southeast in the area surrounded by sky rifts. Okay. So we got to go through the rift and then... Or yeah, through, through the, the stone wall or whatever. And then the, the stone reef. The asteroid belt. I don't know. You gotta go through the asteroid field, yes. Okay. Box, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I hit it. Wow. Nice. First try. All right. I remember missing those made me uh, miss the 100% accuracy of gun blades in, in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Mm. All right. Nice. Here. Yeah, I think it might be that island, actually. Uh, yeah, it's going to be on the underside of it, I believe. Underside? I believe so. Oh, a little rock right there? I could be wrong about that, but I think so. Uh, it might be on top. weird hitboxes on this thing. Yeah. Navigating! Uh, I actually wanted you to get another random encounter. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. <laughs> mission accomplished. And they're all loopers. I hope you're happy. I'm quite happy. Well, good. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. At least one of us is. Oh, hey, we'll get, <laughs> we'll get to see <laughs> the cupel blade now. <laughs> Kind of a chef knife looking thing there. Yeah. Yeah, and we're now up to six spirit generation per round, uh, which is pretty nice. Yeah. I believe that breaks down to <laughs> to Vice and Drachma with two, and Ika and Fina at one, if I remember the stats correctly. Counter. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Get him. He wasn't looking. I call hacks. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if this goes off. Lunar blessing. Yeah, there we is go. Is an expedited move. Last three. Give us your and is not blocked by Delta Shield. Indeed, because uh, super moves are not blocked by Delta Shield. Now everybody has regen. There we go. Oh, and uh, to bring it up for our recording purposes, uh, I was talking with Dan, and we were discussing what moon our starting island is under. Yes, and we'll because have a little bit of a... Go ahead, yeah. I was going to say, it's just not explicitly stated, right? But we're clearly not under the red moon, because that's where we're headed. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I, I need to go up. There we go. Yeah, I can head up. Yeah, so it is a question, right? Um, which which moon is, uh, say, Pirate Isle, Shrine Island, under? Um, it's not oh, really maybe. known is currently. Over here, maybe? Let's see. Airship right on the edge of the All right, so coordinates are 8-8. Eight, eight. I believe that corresponds if you bring up the map. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure I remember how this coordinate system works. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. I think five, it's from top, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you need to go east. Yeah, I need to go further east. Yep. So it is. Might be this, island. this is where I was just at, right? But. Yeah, is see. it on the other side? Small green island to the southeast. Might Maybe a little bit south. I know this is just riveting. <laughs> I mean, the viewers have to witness our spectacular navigation skills. Right. You're relying on me to navigate you. That's the blind leading the blind, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even with the best descriptions, some of these discoveries are really hard to find. Yeah. yeah it's It really is a matter of, like, especially if you're playing line just literally check everywhere just explore um, 
we are, of course, trying to... Uh, well, we both played this game before, but uh, we were trying to, uh, you know, head directly for uh, any of the discoveries and items that we need to grab. Right. Pull from the dredges of our memory. Yep. As well as the hard work of many that have written facts on the internet. Yes. I, th- I think it might be this one down here, actually. Yeah, I bet it is. There it is. It. The Sky Coral. All right. Sky Coral. Microorganisms called Sky Coral attach themselves to moonstone boulders and grow to form these reefs. They flourish only in very specific conditions and can take 200 years to grow. Their various colors and shapes have long been valued for their beauty. Huzzah. Indeed. All right, indeed. All right. Uh, what's your next? All right. So next up. We're going to want to go for discovery number four. Which uh, is... Yes. Okay. So... Go ahead and head directly north from Sky Coral. Okay. Uh, there's a large oblong rock. This one? Might be this one, yeah. Check it out. On top, bottom? No! Northeast tip. Uh, oblong rock. Yeah. Is it this one? It could oh, be. maybe it's that. this one. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it probably it. is. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pause here. <laughs> yeah. Once we find it, we'll bring it back up. Oh, never mind. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. The Silver Moon Pit. So this is a little related to what we were talking about earlier. So. Silver Moon Pit. Only small islands such as Pirate Isle and Shrine Isle lie in the area where Silver Moonstones fall. So deposits this large are very hard to come across. Legends say that Silver Moonstones hold the powers of life, but the truth remains unknown. So this is sort of an answer. Um, we believe Pirate Isle and Shrine Isle are under the Silver Moon. Uh, but there's not a lot of evidence of that. Um, people don't really seem to be talking about that. But based on that, um, it seems like that's that's the region we start in, the silver region, which could explain yep. why a member of the silver civilization was flying around in her luxury craft. Right. Uh, it's also interesting because, like, we don't really see the silver moon much in the same way that we do the other moons, right? Like, when we go to the different areas, we'll actually mm-hmm. see the corresponding moon kind of float up into the background. That's true. Not so much with the silver moon. Yeah. All right. Next step is dock. So we'll pick back up there. Yep. All right. Hi. 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 <laughs> I see you've caught some moonfish here. Let's feed the little critter. Gave the moonfish to the bird. It's got to hiccup and grow now. Yep. <laughs> wonder how much more it'll grow. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, is that the growth of this bird is grossly understated until you see it next to a person and you're like, oh. That's true. We don't actually know how big the bird is currently. Right. Flame mantles, that'd be for the third one. Yes, keep feeding the moonfish. Yeah, always feed every moonfish whenever you come here to this bird. You're going to want all the rewards as soon as you can get them. Yeah, they're good drops too. Are you keeping the egg, part of the egg on your head? Because he likes it. It's a cool hat. Yeah, it's his hat. Gem of fluidity. I don't remember what that one does. Sounds like an accessory. Yeah. 
The flame mantle was one of the recommended armors for uh, Vice earlier. Um, we have him with the armor we got in Value Up. This one might be better. Check it. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Hands down. Give him his dress. Flame mantle. <laughs> yes, uh, but we will probably equip Drachma with that heavy armor. Yeah, I think he's the only other one that can wear it, so yeah. Can Fina wear anything that we have currently? Nope. The answer is no. Well, technically, I guess she could wear Ica shorts, but that would just be awkward. And a downgrade besides. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, What's her accessory, though? We haven't changed her accessory, right? No, we have not. Gem of Fluidity. There it is. Defense and magic defense. Protects against stone. That's nice, actually. That's useful. We also picked up Warrior's Rune, which I didn't do anything with last time. Take a look True. At this. We've had that for a minute, haven't we? A yeah, a little bit. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's mine. That hit, All right. The hit boost. <laughs> These are mine. Yeah. That hit boost alone is worth it. Yep. Uh, Silver Bill is boosting magic and will. Boosting? Will? Yeah, will. Wisdom, will, whatever it is. Yeah. Is will, will is magic defense. Is that right? Uh, No, because mad MA is magic defense. Will, I think, is your magic output. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got him reversed there. Okay. Yeah. All right. I it think it's good to boost is... on a caster, though. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, show. All right. Cool. All right. So we've turned those in. Uh, we can go ahead and head east from Sailor's Island uh, into the desert region of uh, Nasser. We can see the red moon rising over there. Uh, and this is going to be a part of the game when we're going to want to look out for certain enemies. Uh, they're called Asbeth. Um, if we encounter those it's going to be a good idea to begin casting Delta Shield because they cast Eternity, um, which Ooh. is capable of instant killing a party member here. So we're going to want to avoid that if we can. Yeah, no kidding. No, 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 no. Got poison, though. Yeah, that's a side effect of the blade that we're using for Vice. But the Assassin Blade? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's silence, I believe. Yeah. That was unfortunate. Takes care of that one. Yeah. Counter. Yeah. All Dang, right. Koopal. Uh... Hmm. We've got eight discoveries to locate in this area. Oh, um, we'll want really? To, yep, and we'll want to turn all those in uh, once we find them. That's that's okay. basically what this section is going to be for a little bit. Gotcha. So, <laughs> might be some some cuts and starts again. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll just kind of track them down, but we we may want to not <laughs> go through all of the navigating here for. Uh, the viewers. Yeah. Our poor viewers. <laughs> Brunched. <laughs> that was easy. Struggled with all the other ones. All right. Mr. Very nice. All right. So, eastward still. Yeah, I believe so. Topple Rock is the first discovery I think we're going to look for, which is at coordinates 11.7, top of the mountain on the southern tip of the island on which Maramba resides. We're not going to want to go to Maramba just yet. So we need to go south, though, through the reed, right? Uh-huh, yep. Okay. That's correct. I need to go this way. Yep. Punch hey. on through there. Yeah, and then it's like, okay, here we go. Little cutscene. Wow, there's nothing but sand here. 
So this is the desert. I've heard sailors talk about them before, but it's my first time actually seeing one. Now that you mention it, I've heard sailors talking about them too. <laughs> you're on fire. That's how you know you're truly loved. Mm -hmm. They said that NASA deserts are so hot. If you walk around in the sun too long, your hair catches on fire. Everyone carries buckets of water around with them so that they can put their friend's hair out and then... Oh, come on, Aika. You don't actually believe those crazy stories. Sometimes I wonder what goes on in that head of yours. Listen. <laughs> oh, look. She looks so offended. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't come crying to me when your head bursts into flames. That glass eye patch you wear will intensify the sun's rays and fry your brain. That... It might actually do that. I'm just kidding, Vice. It's just a story that I heard a long time ago. I didn't really believe it either. <laughs> but you can't be too careful. Sure you don't believe it, Ika? Right. I'm so convinced. <laughs> the moonstones that fall from the red moon give off a great deal of heat. It's too hot for most plants to survive. Because of this, the lands of Nasser have been reduced to a barren wasteland. I see. There isn't much time... Or, excuse me. There isn't much down there besides sand and rock. Red moon crystal should be hidden somewhere in the desert, right? That's right, Vice. It is buried deep within the ancient temple of Prin. Pyrin, I believe. Yeah. That should be. Pyrin. Like Pyrite. Yeah. Or Pyromancer. An ancient temple? I bet there's all kinds of treasure in there. Maybe some gold and gems and magic stuff and nice clothes and stuff. Stuff and things. Right. We find a bunch of treasure. We'll be rich. We can go buy whatever we want. That's the first thing you'd buy, Fina. Buy? Um. What does that mean exactly? What? <laughs> what? Fina, you don't know what that means? I I'm terribly sorry. I've never seen the rest of the world before, and. You don't need to look very far to find a shop. Everyone buys stuff. It's. It's normal. Well, Fina, you really don't get out much, do you? You have no idea. According to the map, there's a city nearby called Maramba. Let's go there first. I'm too old for this. Drachma getting sick of it. You see, Fina, money can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> Alright, that's Maramba there, I believe. So it should be... Not going to want to go there just yet, but there's plenty of discoveries to be had. Yeah, wait. Um, mm -hmm. On this section here. Yep. There we are. Couple rock. A natural formation of three round rocks stacked on top of each other and perfectly balanced. The balance seems delicate, especially when the rocks sway in the wind. But for some reason, they have never toppled. Magic. Raises questions about what's going on with the gravitational forces on this. Is it a planet? Where are we? We're in the sky. Is it just sky? What's going on here? Cloud City. All right. Cloud Where City. Where to next? Right. All right. So next, we're going to want to head toward coordinates 12, 7. Uh, it's floating around visibly east of Maramba. I believe we can actually see it over there. Oh, yeah. The oasis. Got it. Yep. The Wandering Lake. I see an enemy ship over there, too. So. Yep. Ship battle. Yeah, which... Those are... Those random ship... Ba oh, hey, a new looper. Oh. Awesome. Wonderful. Delightful. <laughs> I don't remember what the Azbeth <laughs> enemy looks like, but we're, we're going to want to watch out for that one. Yeah. Countar. Rude. Silence. More silence? Yep. Always a little bit of a stutter when they're getting hit with uh, status effects. Loop along. Should let. Oh, wait, this is my first turn. Leave with that. Okay. Oh, bye yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Run, you chicken. <laughs> yeah, 
That's going to be very effective against them. So all these guys are purple. Yeah. Very good to run red against purple. Serves up right. That's right, Drachma. You tell him. <laughs> Have to learn another spell. All right. The Wandering Lake. The truth behind the story of the disappearing lake is even stranger. Temperature differences make a large bowl of rock float above the desert sands, holding a lake of clear water. Once the water cools off, it settles downward again. So I'm sure weird. I'm sure temperature differences are making it float. There's there can be no other explanation, right? <laughs> Listen, you just need to suspend your disbelief, all right? Can't let you do that. <laughs> Darn Fair. fuck. Um okay, so next Is one up here. Uh check it out. Um there's a region remember. along the mountains roughly southeast. There might be one up there. Actually, yeah, I think that might be. Are we southeast of Maramba? Ooh, what have we here? There's Asbeth. your Asbeths. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna want a Delta Shield. I think this is the first casting of Delta Shield, so it'll be good. Y'all, yeah. all right, uh, let's do it. As a reminder, Delta Shield is a class three expedited move. Delta Shield. It goes off right away. Oh, and, yeah, they like to call allies. Yeah, they just bring in more of them. Oh, Stonebeak. Okay. Um, but yeah, as a reminder, with Delta Shield, you are immune to all magic, and that includes support and healing magic from your allies. So, Ingram, for example, Quika, uh, or any healing spells that are cast as magic won't work. But if you use them as items, Zachary Crystal, um, I forgot what the quick. Uh, Glyph of Speed be for for Quika, um or glyph of power for Ingram. those work when using delta shield e. and their names are all highlighted in yellow which indicates they're protected by delta shield as well all right take care of these aspeth as far as we can yeah, definitely. Delta you can trust me. You will see Delta Shield more than enough times by the end of this. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said you'll probably get sick of seeing it. Yeah. So, fortunately, I don't think we've talked about this yet, but uh, with super moves, you can skip the animation at the very beginning. Um, I recall doing that very frequently with Delta Shield due to the amount of times it gets used just to block spells. Yeah, um, I've been trying to remember what button does it, actually. Yeah, I don't recall. <laughs> I remember pressing it. I could probably muscle memory it, but that's not yeah. all I got. Oh no, fatigue. Ah yes, fatigue. I think that means he doesn't generate as much spirit, is that right? I think that's correct, yeah. Yeah. I think it halves or something. Oof, that's rough. Alright. Yeah, it is. That was only four. I think maybe his spirit generation is disabled uh, while under fatigue, which makes it a pretty debilitating status effect. Right. That wasn't so bad. And we win with the power of violence. Like any Fire. true RPG. Come on. There it is, the sand falls. Perfect. Long ago, a young black pirate searched the desert for the isle that spouts treasure. After a long trek, he was shocked to find that it produced only sand. But he realized that the desert was the true treasure and spent the rest of his years in Nasser. Be sure it's just not delirium. It's 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 all the same, right? It's fine. Sure. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. So twelve eight is going to be the next one. Uh, open desert region along the mountains, roughly southeast of Maramba. Twelve so, yeah. eight. 
Yeah, I think directly south is what you're going to want here. Because we're right. at 12.7 currently. Yeah, right here. So directly mm -hmm. south. Got it. It's going to be along the mountains here. So. All right, we're going to find this. Let's see. Open desert region along the mountains. Okay, check on the ground here. Uh, the desert region out in the open here. Because it's along the mountains, but just check down here, I think. Are we roughly southeast of Maramba currently? Oh, man, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I can't, apparently can't even go like two seconds without getting hit by something. We explore the skies. Hey, at least we're getting lots of levels here. Yeah. It's good to get uh, Fina feed, that's for sure. The lice. Oh, not fatigue. You fool. Screw you. Oh. There we go. Crunched. Is it over already? Uh, yeah. Check if we're roughly southeast of Maramba, if you would. So, can't zoom in. All right, so Maramba is kind of over in that direction. Yeah, maybe head a little more east. Are we looking for the? We're fire... looking for the oasis. Oh, uh, which the... is okay. There's Maramba there. Yeah, the Temple of Pyrin is, is next, though. That's at 13.6, northeast of Maramba in the corner of the large desert region. Okay. So that'll be easy to discover. There we go. Oh, hey, here we go. The Oasis. As shipbuilding developed and flight distances grew, the Oasis in the middle of the desert lost some of its importance to travelers. But it is still critical to caravans on land routes and remains lively as a center of trade and information. How on earth did they have land routes? That was going to be my question. Um, did they have, like, roads that span between the islands, massive bridges? I mean, they must, right? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe the islands, you know, maybe it's a Pangea-type situation. I guess. They broke apart at one point. Yeah. Pirate of Slipara there. Yes. Uh, you know, we talked about the Reigns of Destruction. Maybe the Oasis was more used before that, back in the old world. It's possible. We don't know a lot about the old world. Could the islands be the remains of the planetary crust? That's, that's a great question. Yep. But if so, what is keeping them get like did this planet break apart and we're in the skies with the remains of the crust floating there somehow? What happened? Clearly it's the change in temperatures. Mm-hmm. That sounds right. It's the temperatures, guys. The temperatures make things float. Because hot air rises. Right, right. <laughs> I mean that's that's what I've learned. That sounds like science. Yep. The deep lore. There is no reason to extend this fight more than you already have. You didn't want to fight a hundred beetles? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, actually this might work. Iris, yeah. Moons, give me strength. Second level fire spell here. Ooh. Crunched him nicely. Take that. Char broiled. Actually, just charred. Seared to perfection. All right. Then we got the oasis. Now we need to head to the Temple of Pyron. So that's at 13.6. 
That one should be visible, much like the floating lake, but not moving. Uh, northeast of Maramba. Can I get back to Maramba to go there? Yep. You said northeast of Maramba, right? Yep, I did. Uh, so down here, actually. Yeah, let's see. Temple of Pyron, visible northeast of Maramba in the corner of the large desert region. Yep. Coordinates 13.6. After that, we're going to need to go for Discovery 65 and 66, because they're in the area as well. If we can ever get out of this stupid area. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even the worst. Oh. No, no, it is not. <laughs> There are a total of 89 discoveries uh, in this game. Um, you don't have to fly around looking for every single one of them, but you do for most. Um, kind of a big part of the game is finding stuff and reporting it in. Right. There are a handful, I think, that are automatic just from following the story. Yep, there are. Technically, I believe the Temple of Pyron uh, is from following the story, but it's better to get it now. Oh, incoming hostile ship. Yeah, there's the temple. Be back for you later. That's right. Temple of Pyron, a stone building thought to have been created by an ancient dynasty. The stonework and construction demonstrate a high level of technology for that period, but no clues are left that point to the purpose behind these huge creations. Nice. This is it. This is where the red moon crystal is buried. Great. Let's land this ship and search the place right away. Wait, boy. Head to town first. I got some things I need to take care of. There's a port city named Maramba near here. Get there first. Got it? Um, sure. No problem. I just thought we could... Um... Never mind. It doesn't matter what to me. <laughs> Vice, the plot is telling you to do something else. Right. Oh, wait, All you right. said something else was around here, right? Oh, uh, there was a hostile ship bearing down on you. Well, yeah, no, you meant there were there were two other discoveries? There are two. There's actually three more discoveries we need to get, but the next one, uh, uh, actually, whatever's closer between 11.8 and 10.9, uh, southwest corner of the mountain range, south of Maramba. 10.9, huh? And nine, which is going to be at, at about 80% altitude, so we're going to need to fly pretty high to get that one. So, I'm in this range. Alright. Southwest yeah. of Maramba, you said? Correct. Southwest corner of the mountain range, south of Maramba. I think we might have been close to that one a minute ago. But, we'll find out. Is that just one enemy? Yes. Lupalon. Yeah. Loop alone. Uh, Forever alone. Right. Looper. Get you know. guys in a minute. So, over here in the mountain range. Uh huh. Is it just floating in midair or? Southwest corner of the mountain range south of Maramba. Oh, I think it's attached to the southwest corner. Okay. The southwest corner. Yeah, you're pointed roughly the correct direction here, I think. Oh, here it is. Of course. Okay. <laughs> the star sand. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Star sand. In southern Nasser, there was once a desert filled with sand that would sparkle even in the dark of the night. But slowly, their sparkle faded. But legend has it that someone saved some sand in a giant bottle and hid it for centuries. Nice. Pretty now, too. yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, now the next one is ten nine. So head west at about eighty percent altitude from the corner at which the mountain range of Southern Nasser and the Sky Rift of South Ocean meet. So I think if you turn to the left here, you see where this mountain range meets. Yeah, right here. Yep. So yeah, about as high as you can, eighty percent ish, and then head west. Just smash the button. I believe so. Here it is. Yep. Perfect. 
Maroon Isle. All right. Long ago, when air pirates betrayed their crew or captain, as punishment, they were abandoned on this island with only a week's supply of food. So fearful did pirates become of this island, its legend lives on in the songs of air pirates even today. Huh. Maroon Isle, where people get marooned. Okay. So the last discovery we want to get right now. It's a big skull. It, yeah, it is. It, a, an enormous dude got marooned there. Yeah. Um, this is going to be at coordinate 7 4. Uh, okay. Blue Island floating in lower sky, almost directly northwest of Sailor's Island. So it floats. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it has to float upwards. So we got to revert back to mid ocean to grab that real quick. That's fine. We got to head back there and just turn all the stuff in anyway. That's right. Fish. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay. Back on through the rift here. Yeah. Or, or through the reef, not the rift. Rift is a different thing. It's fine. <laughs> Aha! Found the button. Found the skip button. Congrats. What button is it? Start. Ah! <laughs> start button. Oh! <laughs> Don't do it. Don't you do it. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> I don't have any way to ri raise them up either. Yeah, you don't. You don't have Ryzen yet. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we used the Rizalem crystal for that last yeah. one. I don't remember. Uh, Do party members res after battle? I. Oh, I right, have Ryzen. Ryzen. Yeah. All right, let's give it a try. <laughs> Here goes. We've countered at least. Come on, Ika. There we go. Not for the best spell ever. Will it work? This. That's why Ryzen is the best spell in the game. <laughs> uh, oh, I, don't, I don't need deep. this. <laughs> die, 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 die. Poisoned. Oh, you piece of garbage. <laughs> oh, no. Looking a little grim. Alright, cool. Uh, random encounters in this game are very capable of knocking you down with attrition. Yeah. I believe I did see Drachma get up, so I think probably revive at 1 HP. Yep. Alright, cool. Well then, let's fix this problem right now. Let's make some magic. All right. In much better shape. Just uh, kind of in need of some uh, MP there. All right. All right. Back north. Yep. Uh, reminder coordinates are 7-4. It is lower sky to very low middle sky. Um... Almost seven four, four. North, said. yeah, almost directly northwest of Sandler's Island. So you're going the right way. Okay. You just need to go down as low as possible, and an island should float upwards for us to discover it. We will technically be getting this discovery a little early, but it's good to get them. 
I believe ah. this one pays a lot, actually. So we're going to get a lot of money from getting all these discoveries. Heck yeah. All, all the dollars so that we can exchange them for goods and services and amaze Fina. <laughs> Who's never been shopping. You must discover the joys of shopping in this brave new world. Yes. It didn't work out too well for you, buddy. He tried. He did. <laughs> that was easy. All right. There should be a blue island that floats upward. Definitely would check coordinates. Make sure we're in the right spot here. We had seven four about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to go seven ish. There it is. There it is, yep. Excuse me. Get it. Discovered. The Mirage Island. Lately, sailors have been reporting sightings of Sailor's Island floating around mid-ocean. They tried to get close to the island, but to no avail. Theory has it that light reflected off Sailor's Island is creating a mirage of sorts. mirage I love the discoveries in this game. They add a lot of flavor and lore, and there's a lot of mysteries in this game as to what exactly is going on here. Why are we flying around in the sky with nothing but islands. Right. Is there a ground? And why are rocks all standing on end? Why are all these weird things happening? It's a really fantastic world. It's full of things that raise a lot of questions. Indeed. All right. So next is Sailor's Island, right? That's correct. We'll need to turn in our discoveries at Sailor's Island and take care of a couple of more things here. Okay, well, we'll get to Sailor's Island and then probably call it because it is getting late. Yep, late. And I think we're, we're at about time here for this episode, but we need some good discoveries in this one here. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm going to be really hating the can't run rule uh, when we get <laughs> to that one particular corridor. Hmm. I don't know that I remember it. <laughs> um, I think it's when we're heading to the area with the green moon. Okay, fair enough. It's like a very windy area you have to go through. Uh, I'm starting it, to remember it now. And it uh, has a very high, very high encounter rate. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alrighty. What is that save point? Out. Save points all the way down this way. Yep. And we can grab a number of things here. Yes, which we will do next time. Next time. <laughs> next time, Gadget. That's right. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yep. We'll turn it in for some gold next time and uh, maybe figure out what's going on with Marumba. The yep. Black Bamba. And many other things. Yes. Many other things to be introduced next time. Keep yep. watching. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. Otherwise, have a great day. Take have care. a good one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Diddly diddly doo 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 doo. Do, 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 do. Thanks for watching!